John again, and today I bring you a 2014 Jeep Compass. Um, and you may ask why am I doing a review of a 2014 Jeep Compass when 2015 is probably going to be an all new Compass anyway. Well, Jeep kind of wanted the Compass to go out in a bang for its last model year at this current body style uh, on this current platform. Uh, from what I understand, the new 2015 Compass will ride on the same platform that underprints the new 2014 Cherokee, which is the same platform. Uh, that uh, the Dodge Dart rides on, which is the same platform that the Alfa Romeo Giulietta rides on as well. So all going to be on the same platform. Um, but let's talk about this current Jeep Compass, which is originally based off the Dodge Caliper platform when it first came out, along with the Jeep Patriot as well, which is a boxier version of the Compass. But anyway, if we look at the Jeep Compass, I kind of want to go over a couple things that have been done for 2014 to make this thing stand out from 2011 to 2000. 13 models. Uh, again, uh, what we have here is, uh, let's see, first off would be the grill. Now the grill is pretty much the same except for the mesh inlay is now instead of black, it's kind of a dark gray. Uh, I kind of prefer the black myself. Um, dark gray doesn't really fit very well, but uh, that's either here nor there. But um, it would have been nice if they would have kept the, the gray, dark gray insert and maybe made these black. Oh, whatever. Um, the headlights are now have a black background uh, that is standard on all 2014 compasses. They no longer offer a chrome, but still the same headlight design. Uh, that is the same headlight design that was used on the 2011 to 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee. As you can tell, the compass has a baby Grand Cherokee look, which adopted in 2011, and I think it really gave the compass a lot better look to it. Uh, than the, when it first came out, which was, Compass was pretty hideous when it first came out. Um, I do like the look of the Compass now. Uh, the side profile is pretty much the same. Nothing has really changed there. As we move along the side, um, the taillights now have a dark tint, um, which uh, is kind of uh, sort of what Jeep did with the headlights. Now they add to the taillights. So it's the same taillight design from 2011. They added a chrome overlay up above here. And pretty much the back is pretty much the same as before. Same 17 inch wheels that they've offered since 2011, I believe. And let's hop inside. Now there's some more changes that have been done inside the compass and then we'll go over a couple more changes as well that Jeep has done for the 2014 compass. It's a little dark in here, so let's add some lighting. There we go. <laughs> The gauges are different. If, if you can see there, um, the gauges are a little bit different. And instead of the lighting being uh, red needles with white background, it is now still a white background but with orange needles. Uh, that's sort of the Jeep thing nowadays that it's going to be doing. Uh, you kind of get that idea from the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee and some others as well. Also, what Jeep has done is they've... Uh, added this kind of silver metallic along the center console here uh, also carries down uh, around the shifting uh, shifting mechanism here as well uh, a lot of it's still the same though still the same climate control still the same radios that are offered um, in this latitude model uh, this is different now instead of being black um, whereas before it's a g-band compass and it was all black uh, they now have added silver accenting and they've raised the compass symbol as well. The dash is still the same, still hard touch, but at least has a very nice graining, just like when they, uh, just like when they redid this interior in 2011. Um, the door panel, uh, the top part is soft touch, so just as was in 2011, so the same material. Uh, the middle part here, I don't know if you can see it too good. Um, my camera's not really picking it up, but anyway, it has a stitched material where my hand is and it's a lot softer vinyl same thing with the armrest right there and then if you can see I mean, you can kind of see it right here uh, the center console instead of being a padded vinyl um, well it was kind of like a padded vinyl thing this is more of a stitch almost like a full leather design which is nice I do like that as well the seats are a little bit different the sort of same design seats you really can't see it with my phone camera here but they have kind of like a mesh insert in the center um, it's kind of hard to see but it does have stitching along the side there so but anyway 
That's the interior change. It's still the same steering wheel. Uh, a lot of the interior really hasn't changed much. Um, uh, so the biggest change for the 2014 Compass, which I'm going to go outside and show you, and the reason why is I didn't really think it held that much. Um, when the Compass was reintroduced in 2011 with all the exterior changes and, of course, the, the new interior, which actually the new interior actually dates back to 2010 um, or 2009, maybe. I'm not sure. But what they also did was uh, for 2014... Uh, well, let me back up here. For 2011, when they changed the exterior, they also updated the CVT. Uh, the CVT has always been in the Compass since its introduction in 2007. And the CVT is actually sourced by Nissan. Well, sourced by Jayco. Uh, but uh, Jayco is a transmission company that's primarily owned by Nissan. Anyway, the, the transmission, the CVT, is sourced by Jayco, which is owned by Nissan. And what Jayco did is they actually uh, changed some of the parameters for the CVT for the 2000 model year. It actually made it more engaging to drive. Uh, and they added the auto stick feature, which really makes it very enjoyable to drive the CVT uh, versus in the years past where all you had was drive and then low. Now, you, still get, you can still get drive and low, but that's only on the trail rated models. But anyway, the reason why I'm saying this is for 2014, they've introduced a six-speed automatic sourced by Hyundai. And you can tell right here, if you can kind of look here, but see, look at that. Korea is where the transmission's made now because it's sourced by Hyundai. But anyway, if, if you can see the mileage, 2127. Now, if you look at times past on the original Compass with the CVT, especially 2011 and later models, don't look at the trail reader models because they don't get as good as the S-Bonch because of the low crawl ratio. But look on the regular models with auto stick, especially in 2011 and beyond. Their mileage is just about the same. Theirs is 2126. I actually know because my dad just got a 2012 Compass with the CVT and the auto stick. It was 2126. Jeep claims that the new six-speed is supposed to get so much better fuel mileage. I only see one miles per gallon better on the highway. That doesn't really count for much, and I think the city, combined city and highway, is the same as if this thing had the CVT. And uh, I haven't driven much of this Compass with the automatic, but anyway, I just wanted to point that out, that I don't think they really gain much by gaining the six-speed in here versus having the CVT. But anyway, this is the 2014 Jeep Compass, my review of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll try and get some more reviews and different things uploaded. All right, take care.